Okay, hello everyone, it's uh, Trent back here in my Magna. If you uh, watched my last video, I did a demonstration of uh, the first version of my uh, onboard diagnostics uh, microcontroller. And uh, that's still progressing in the background, but uh, what I'm going to show you now um, is something else I've installed. And uh, you may be wondering why the hell is it dark, and that's because what I want to show you wouldn't work too well if we're out in the light. So I'm currently in the carport, and uh, to show you what I want to show you, I'm just going to turn the accessories on to get power. And uh, what you'll notice is that uh, the footwell will light up. And uh, so what I've installed here is some uh, footwell lighting in each of the footwells of the car. They're currently staring at the uh, front passenger footwell, but it's also in the front driver, uh, the rear passenger, and also the rear driver's seat. So all of the seats have got that. And uh, you can see, since I'm looking at both front seats now, they actually fade in time with each other. And same with the back, if I can uh, get them all in the shot at the same time, which I can, I think. It's a bit of a push, but uh, so they're all fading the same colour. And you may say that, uh, you know, they're all fading in colour, that's uh, pretty cool and all, but uh, what we'd really like to see is, you know, something a bit more non-started. And so if we just wait a couple moments, you'll uh, actually see something a little bit different to what you might get in any other sort of kit. Alright, so what we can see now is that uh, it's actually running and flushing back and forth between the seats and not only does it do that uh, with the front seats, but it also does that with the back seats. If we uh, zoom out a bit here, you'll see that it's actually all four seats are changing colours and chasing back and forward. And uh, that's just a demonstration of the fact that each footwell has actually got its own connection and I can change the colours in all of them separately as well as individually. So uh, at the moment we're seeing the demo mode where they all fade in the same colour and uh, just before you were seeing where I was actually individually controlling all of them. Now they don't have to be on and off at the same time or all on. I can turn any seat on in any combination of brightness in any colour and uh, that makes for some interesting stuff. Uh, at the moment I'm just running some demo programs but uh, I'm hoping shortly I'll, I'll hook into the, uh, the contact points running into the alarm and I'll actually be able to sense when the doors are open and fade the lights in and out based on that. I'm also hoping that uh, each door sensor is individual so I can actually light up a footwell of the door which is open. Uh, which would be pretty nifty, but I've yet to actually find out if the wiring on this car will let me do that. I suspect it might be a simple series link up between each seat, and I won't be able to do that, but uh, there's some indication I might be able to, so I have to see when I pull that apart. That's in the centre console, I just haven't done yet. But uh, So you can see the lights, but I'll show you a little bit about what's behind it. It's in the centre console here, just behind the, uh, the gear selector. And so if we pull up this little tray here with all my stuff in it in the centre console, and we get some more light, so you can see, we can see a couple of uh, boards in here. The first of which, um, if I just come down, there we go, the, uh, the one on the left hand side is an Arduino board, it's uh, one of the basic ones, and uh, the board on the right is a custom circuit board that I've made, it's uh, using a Texas chip, the TLC 5940, and uh, that chip actually gives us 16 channels of LED to control, and so uh, we've got four seats, three colours, I'm actually using 12 channels, and there's actually uh, four that I'm not using. But uh, that board's pretty simple, it's basically just got the uh, the chip itself on it, a couple of resistors, capacitor, and then you can see quite a few cables running back to the microcontroller. And uh, in a moment I'll pull that out for a closer look, but uh, that sits in the centre console here. The reason there's lots of room in here is because on the Verada, which is the more luxury model of this particular car, uh, they actually have airbags. Uh, this car doesn't have airbags, but usually there's actually a giant uh, box here which has the airbag computer and uh, the SRS computer as they call it and uh, so given that's not there I can uh, welcome to put some stuff in there and uh, if you check out the photos uh, on geekmyride.org under Lafayette's Magna um, you can see the photos when I was running all the cables you can see here I've got uh, a little ribbon cable comes in for each light and uh, we've also got a power cable coming up because I've installed a, uh, a, a power source it uh, stepped down to actually 12 volts in this case and that's actually in the center console in behind the stereo and uh, the reason I run 12 volts is because I need 12 volts to power the LEDs and uh, the Arduino microcontroller obviously and, and the uh, LED chip run at 5 volts but uh, the voltage converter on the Arduino takes care of that for me and um, 12 to 5 volts is a pretty big jump but uh, in this case there's not too much power being pulled so that works out fine uh, and you can see it's currently in a little uh, plastic container I obviously plan to fix that but uh, this is not the final installation this is just a bit of a demo I've actually got a large Arduino I'll be using shortly and um, that's going to not only integrate the footwell lights but with the diagnostic computer and LCD output and uh, a few other things I'm planning on which uh, are going to stay a secret for the moment. So uh, that's my footwell lights 
And um, now I'm actually going to uh, borrow this equipment because I've got a talk this week. I'm going to do a bar camp uh, in Perth here. And uh, so I'd like to be able to show them this board. So I'm going to pop them out of the car and uh, thought I should make a video before I do that. Thanks very much.